Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Matt Carmen, your awesome realtor, and today we're opening the kimono to show you the secrets to sell your home in Macon, Georgia for the maximum profit. Did you know that residential properties are more sensitive to changes in interest rates and economic conditions than other types of properties? Well, that's why it's crucial to identify the best time to sell your home for maximum profits and for a smooth selling process. But before we jump into the details, allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm a relocation expert and a real estate expert. I help families buy and sell properties that fit their unique needs. And if you need assistance in buying or selling your next property in the Macon area, don't hesitate to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. In this video, we'll explore the benefits of selling your home when the market is favorable. We're gonna dive in the best time of year to sell. We're gonna discuss some of the mistakes to avoid. And finally, we're gonna provide some actionable advice from real estate experts like me. So let's go. Selling your home when the market is favorable can offer numerous advantages. But first, I want to talk to you about profits. That's right, I said profits. In a favorable market, homes often sell at an above the, the listing price, resulting in some significant profits for sellers, especially if they have some substantial equity in their property. Quicker sales are another benefit of selling in a, pro, in a seller's market. With high demand and limited supply, homes tend to sell a lot faster and this uh, minimizes the time your property sits in the market and allows you to move forward with your plans more quickly. And who doesn't want to move forward with their plans more quickly? Now here's an important one, less risk. In a seller's market, risks associated with selling a home, such as not selling or selling for less than it's worth, are significantly reduced. The high demand and limited supply tip the scale in flavor of the seller, reducing the likelihood of these risks. Lastly, let's talk about higher sales prices and quicker transactions. In a favorable market, increased buyer competition can lead to bidding wars, driving up the selling price of your home. Additionally, buyers are motivated and prepared to move quickly, streamlining that transaction process a whole lot more quickly. Now that we understand the benefits of selling when the market's favorable, let's kind of dive in back into the best time of year to sell your home in Macon, Georgia. Seasonal variations, uh, you know, they can play a significant role in determining the optimal time to list your property. Spring and early summer are often considered to be the best times to sell your home. Buyers are actively searching during this period, and homes tend to show well with improved curb appeal. But don't discount the fall. While there may be a slight slowdown in buyer activity, it can still offer opportunities, particularly for homes that cater more towards families. Aiming to settle before a new school year, that's yeah, a key consideration for a lot of families. Remember to keep an eye on the local real estate trends, such as the average days on the market, the median selling price. These indicators give you valuable insights into the best time of year uh, to list your property. And shameless note here, I offer once a month a market update in the Macon area. If you don't subscribe to my channel, please do. It gives you every month that comes out with a new update on how the market is doing in real estate. Very beneficial. And also don't forget to compare the trends in neighboring cities like Warner Robins. Real estate trends may differ slightly due to factors like local economy and housing demand, but comparing these trends can help you make informed decisions about when to list your home properly. Now let's discuss some common mistakes sellers make when it comes to timing. One of the most common mistakes is overpricing. Setting an unrealistic price can deter potential buyers. Uh, this causes your home to sit on the market for longer periods of time and decreases its uh, perceived value over time also. When your house initially lists the market, it's going to populate in all MLS systems and it starts this buzz among other real estate agents who want to push these properties onto their, uh, and onto their buyers. So whenever your house sits out there, it, it becomes stagnant and sits there and it doesn't get that buzz, it just loses its buzz. So pricing is important. You wanna get it priced appropriately and for the most amount of money at the right time. So it's helpful that you pick somebody to assist you in this process like a realtor. You know, poor timing is also another pitfall to avoid. Listing your property when there is a surplus of homes on the market might even lead to an increased competition and potentially a lower sale. Uh, similarly, listing during seasonal downtime might result in a lack of buyer interest as well. So that's something that you also need to consider. And lastly, not understanding the market trends can be detrimental. First and foremost, staying informed is key. Keep an eye on the local real estate news, attend open houses and talk to real estate professionals. 
stay up to date on market trends and conditions. Knowledge is power when making informed decisions about selling your home. Now, here's another big tip. Flexibility is an important factor. While certain seasons may offer more fav favorable sellings, don't be afraid to adapt to, ch to changing circumstances. If you've got the flexibility, use that flexibility to your advantage. Sometimes unexpected opportunities arise and being flexible and open-minded can lead to a successful outcome. Utilizing the expertise of real estate agents and other, other online platforms can also be incredibly beneficial. Realtors are well-versed in the local market. This is where they focus and, and they network in this area and they can provide valuable guidance throughout the selling process. Additionally, online platforms can expand your reach and attract potential buyers. There are a lot of online platforms that real estate agents subscribe to. This is another key factor in why you want to have a realtor in your back pocket. And finally, another major thing that uh, you want to take into consideration is to prepare your home for sale. Enhance its curb appeal, declutter, and stage the interior, and consider making any necessary repairs or upgrades, any open projects that you have open, go ahead and complete those. Presenting your home in the best possible light can significantly impact the desirability among buyers. In conclusion, the best time to sell your home in Macon, Georgia is when the market is favorable. Offering high profits, a quicker sale, less risk, spring and early summer are typically the, the optimal times to list your home, while fall can still provide some opportunities for certain types of homes. Avoid common mistakes by not overpricing, understanding the market trends, and timing your listing strategically. Remember to stay informed, be flexible, and utilize the expertise of real estate agents and online platforms. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more expert advice and tips on navigating the real estate market in Macon, Georgia.